What's going on again, everybody? Welcome to the Road to 100 Rank Victory Series on UFC Undisputed 3, episode number 48. Once again, the countdown to the halfway mark of episode 50 is getting closer and closer and closer. As always, I'm your host, Max, otherwise known as Doing It For Her, or to shorten that shit up, you can acronym it and call me D-I-F-H. And uh, Marilla Bustamante was the guy I was getting kind of a lot of requests on to do. So I actually got a fight with him. I tried to join some sessions and use him, but I could not get a middleweight fight. So I'm sorry if this guy is not the most experienced player. Um, he's really, really not too great when it comes to being on the ground. He's very, like, I don't know, wants to get off ASAP. He doesn't time shit very well. So you see me reversing a lot of transitions. I do apologize for that. But Marilla Bustamante is a damn beast, and this is a decent fight. I start to notice this guy isn't the greatest in skill once I start reversing all his transitions, so I kind of stand with him a little bit, even though Hendo's dangerous to stand with, and Bustamante doesn't have the greatest stand-up, but what Bustamante is great at is sweeping, man. He's got sweeps from everywhere. Um, I go for a couple submissions, but I do miss them, and if you saw me a little bit ago, I did taunt as I get hit with a gnarly head kick, and I'm throwing this body kick, trying to keep some range and not get hit by these Hendo bombs, man. Uh, nice counter punch uppercut and shit and dropping him uh, reversing the transition like I said he gets too scared on the ground do heavy heavy damage with those short arm punches from side control and I go right back to them again but try to get the submission because his stamina was dangerously low and I barely missed this one guys I'm sorry but uh, like I was saying a second ago Merlo's a beast man and I'm sorry for this guy not being the greatest of fighter I'll try and use Merlo next time I join sessions I've like I've been saying, uh, I really like joining sessions now because that's where you find the better players. So most of the fights where you see me fight C5s and C4s and shit, it's because I uh, joined a session. So I like joining sessions now. I never really used to do that. I don't know why, but uh, I do it now. And like I said, there's the sweeps right there. Boom. And I do apologize. There's this one guy that has been requesting me to use Anthony Rumble Johnson almost every video. If you're watching this, buddy, I am really sorry. I did do a fight with Anthony Johnson and uh, dumbass me it was supposed to be episode 48 and I accidentally deleted it off my computer so that's a lost episode you guys will never see it was a good three rounder against Nick Diaz I got the knockout in the third round it was really awesome the guy afterwards sent me a message saying great fight and he showed some good sportsmanship it was a good fight but uh, I lost it dumbass me delete from my computer I tried to download a program that can help you rec uh, recover deleted files excuse me but uh, I could not recover it, and I apologize once again. I'll try and make one of the next few episodes with Anthony Rumble Johnson. So I am deeply sorry to you, buddy. And uh, as we get rid of these replays here a little bit, there's getting dropped right there. I think I go for one more uh, submission. Not sure I rocked him that round. I can't remember. I don't think so. I think I just went for the submission when his stamina was dangerously low. And then... The next round, um, I try and get it some more, but uh, I don't want to spoil anything because I know you guys hate that, so I'll get into it in a little bit. Merlo Bustamante is a beast, though. I really suggest you guys use him. Um, you can't just, like, work one thing with him. I mean, you got to be a really well-rounded fighter to use him. Merlo's not, like, the best, but like I said, the sweeps really help you. He's throwing these Hendo jabs like fucking crazy, and Hendo's got the goofy jab just like Brian Bowles does, and I just take him down. I uh, didn't get the reversal on that one. Hit the DIFH special, which as you guys should know by now, is where I just run and throw uh, the body hook and then a standing punch. And then Morell's even got that sweet. But this guy, I don't know, he got a, a pretty better in this round as far as the first one. I don't know if he handed the controller off to a buddy or something, but he's spamming the transitions again here. And I caught it. He uh, really should work on not doing that, but... I get the rock right here, and then I'm like, oh shit, maybe I can go for a submission. And this one I fuck up tremendously. Looking back on it, oh my god, I can't believe I fucked this one up. <laughs> if I was to do, like, get a redo on this one, I think I would have pulled it off, but I screwed up. Dan, Dan Hendo, man, he's got some good uh, submission defense, though, so I do not pull this one off. Wish I could have. Uh, get right back up, get, eat a knee to the body, though. He's going for broke here man swinging like crazy trying to get my counter punches on key I think I'm doing a good job uh, he's starting to sway a little bit hit him with another nasty uppercut he's bobbing and weaving like crazy once again using the body kick to keep the distance I saw an opening on the missed head kick go for the takedown 
He's spamming the transitions again, and I see I'm seeing it coming though. Um, if this guy can get his transition game down, he could have been a way better opponent. Hopefully, he can learn something. He didn't have too bad of a record, but like I said, I could not get a fight with Bustamante, and I really wanted to. Oh, and what I was talking about earlier that I forgot, uh, taunting. As you see, I did one of there again. I usually only taunt when I sprawl on somebody, or I block one of their transitions, or their takedowns, and uh, that's about it. I usually do taunt when I knock somebody out, too. I just do the come on taunt, and right there... I rock him again, I said fuck it, I missed two submissions, not going for another one, but he survives man, he got the punch, and now he's just spamming up against the cages in desperation mode, I see it coming, and I'm about to get the beautiful reversal right here, and boom, one knee, that was it, he was hurt, the damage was done, I capitalized on the reversal, and I knock him out, but like I said, I'm taunting guys, some of you guys were calling me a hypocrite because I said I don't like taunts, let me rephrase that. I don't actually do the taunts, the one where you hit up and you like wiggle and then the other one where you kind of dance. I just do the bring it on, come on taunt when I block a sprawl or um, not a sprawl, I mean when I sprawl on somebody and block a, a takedown. When I block a takedown I usually do one or I knock some out, someone out I usually do it. Or when someone's not engaging and just standing around I'll do it. I don't like when someone's getting their ass beat and they try and do those dumb taunts because it just makes them look stupid. Or when you try to touch gloves at somebody and they just try and taunt on you, that's what I don't like. So I'm not a hypocrite guys. So. Hope you enjoyed that fight. Leave a like, and I hope you enjoyed. Once again, my name is Max, and peace.